You know how much the people of this world hate the truth and love theories. The Big Bang Theory? The dinosaur hoax? What? You think you're going into museums and seeing real dinosaur bones? <laughs> Absolutely not, dude. Those are just castings of the real bones that are in the back that nobody's allowed to go see but people that are heavily invested in paleontology. They're literally saying that the closest relative to dinosaurs are chickens. <laughs> no, you thought I was joking? No, they're trying to convince the world that birds are the closest relative to dinosaurs. That's right, T-Rex directly related to this chicken. But I thought evolution didn't work like that. Why would a dinosaur de-evolve into a f These people can't make up their minds with anything. First they told us we were getting our car juice from fossil fuels from dinosaur graves. That's right. Apparently dinosaurs were all walking to the same spots and dying in graves and creating oil. <laughs> and they couldn't decide if these guys were scaly, had feathers. They couldn't decide on anything. Not even now. Let me guess, this one's name is Platypusaurus or something? Come on, people. It's time to live in reality. Electric cars aren't new, people. We were doing this stuff after World War II in Germany. Electric cars costing less than $1,600? Take me back. But seriously, people, this lie is just as stupid as this lie. Water isn't curving around an ellipsoid, or an ablate spheroid, or a pear, Neil. Nobody's allowed to go independently explore Antarctica. The flat earth is not a new concept to this realm. The heliocentric model is. The ice caps aren't melting. There is no spin, there is no curvature, and gravity is not a fact. Gravity's a theory, and it's been a theory for a pretty long time. The longer something stays a theory, the less relevant it is. There's a reason Obama gave his speeches and made Flat Earth a mockery, and made it literally a derogatory thing you can call somebody. <laughs> they do not want you researching it. But if you want to stay on your spinning ball, so be it.